right. Hi, virtual learners. Um, for science today, we are going back to um, Unit 7 that talks about weather and seasons. And I just got done telling um, my class that's in the, at school that we will not have a test over this unit. We're just going to go through the pages and do the review, but there will be no test. Okay? So we're starting on page 257. And if you see in the background, there's like some very gray, a very gray sky with some with a rainbow here. And it says, find the answer to the question in the lesson. It says, rainbows usually follow rainy weather. Which tool could you use to measure rainfall? Does anyone know what that tool is called that you use to measure rainfall? Caitlin? It, kind of, it has a ruler on it, but it's like this kind of like tube thing or like, that you put in the ground and it catches the rain and it has a ruler on it, like it'll tell you inches. Claire, do you know what it's called? Um, it's kind of a different word. Okay, yeah, it might be in our book. John, do you know? No, it's called a rain gauge, okay? So, and it'll probably show us, listen, and it will probably show us in our book what it looks like. But on this first line, you're going to write a rain gauge. Gauge is spelled G-A-U-G-E, okay? So you're going to write on that first line a rain gauge, okay? That's what we use. We stick it in the ground and we use that to measure rain. It collects rain as it falls and then it tells us how many inches of rain we have got. Okay, so go ahead and write that. Then at the bottom, we have three lines because we have three vocabulary words and they are wind, W-I-N-D, temperature, And weather. We're going to write those three words. Those are the three words we're going to talk about today. Wind, temperature, and weather. And make sure you fill this in, please. All right. On the next page, let's turn to page 258 and 259. It says, weather watch. It says, look outside. Is the sun out? Is the air warm or cool? Are there any clouds? Do you feel, feel any wind? Wind is, an, is air that moves. Weather is what the air outside is like. Weather may change during the day. It may also change from day to day and from month to month. The bottom here, it wants us to circle the words that tell about the weather in each picture. So it says over here, circle the word that tells about the weather in each picture. So let's start on this side. In this picture with the beach, is it cloudy or sunny? Alana. Sunny. So you're going to circle the word sunny. The next picture, is it windy or calm? Mason? Windy. Yeah, they're flying a kite. So in order to fly a kite, it has to be windy. On the next page, it says, is it rainy or icy? Oliver? Rainy. Yep, there's a big rain puddle. Number, or not number one, but this one with the snowman. Is it hot or cold? Collins? Cold. Yep. At the bottom it says, is it cloudy or clear? Logan? Cloudy. Good. Okay. All right, so we're going to turn to the next page. It's easy. On the next page, on page 260, it says measure it. You can use tools to measure weather. A thermometer is a tool that measures temperature. Temperature is the measure of how hot or cold something is. Temperature is measured in degrees. So it shows here, this is a thermometer, and this little red part, in the thermometer, there's this little red part, and this red stuff is sometimes called mercury. But when the mercury gets higher and higher, that's showing you that the temperature is getting warmer. So wherever the mercury stops, that's 
the temperature that it is outside. So on this thermometer, it says color the thermometer to show 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So on a thermometer, there are two sides. There's a Fahrenheit side and a C side that stands for Celsius. So it wants us to color this until we get to 80. So we're going to color it and stop at this line where it's 80. So you can just take your pencil and shade it in and show that it is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, that's nice outside. That's nice and warm. I wish it was 80 degrees outside right now. That would be nice. Okay. Okay, then the next side, on the next page, it says rain, snow, sleet, and hail are forms of water that fall from the sky. A rain gauge is a tool that measures how much water falls. So these are two different types of rain gauges and how they look. So like this one is in the dirt by these plants. That way anytime it rains, it collects the water. And if you look, you can see like the line right here almost. So it rained about two inches of rain. This one says color the rain gauge to show that three inches of rain fell. So all we have to do is go up to the three and we're going to color right here to show that three inches of rain fell. Once you do that, you can turn to the next page. Predict it. It says scientists observe and track weather over time. They look for changes in weather. They use tools to learn what the weather may be. Scientists use what they learn to make a weather report. A weather report helps people. They can get ready for the coming weather. So a lot of times, like, your parents might do this. Because, like, even I will do it. But I'll check the weather. Like, I might check the weather this evening or tomorrow morning before I get dressed. So I know, like, do I need to wear, like, a lighter jacket? Or could I just wear, like, or do I need to wear my heavier winter coat with gloves? So a lot of times, that's what we have to do is to make sure we check the weather so we know what we need to wear. So and then in these pictures, it says, we use these tools to observe and track weather. So this is a weather satellite. This is up in space, and it's, like, tracking the weather on Earth. This is a weather station, so this is like tracking the weather. And this is a weather balloon, so they let this go up in the sky so that it can kind of track and let us know what the weather is. It's pretty cool. And then down here, do the math. Compare numbers. So we have 50 degrees on Monday, 40 degrees on Tuesday. So it's sunny and 50. Tuesday was partly sunny and 40. And Wednesday, it was 45, but it was kind of raining and storming a little bit. So it says, look at the temperatures on the left. Write one of them in the empty box below. Write greater than, less than, or equal to to compare the two numbers. So this is like what we do when we are doing simple solutions where we have these symbols. So they have 45 degrees here. Which number could we pick to put over here? We can pick either one. Actually. Caitlin, what do you think? 50? Okay. Oh, do they? Cool. Very cool. Like as a meteorologist, like on a weather station, that's what people who like tell them predict the weather are. So if we have 45 here and 50 here, are we going to write less than, or I'm sorry, greater than, less than, or equal to in this circle? Claire, what do you think? Greater than, less than, or equal? What did you say? Less than, yeah. Because we want this to say 45 is less than 50. So the symbol has to eat the 50 because it's bigger. Good. Good job. All right, so get that filled in. All right, so we're going to turn to the next page. 
Sum it up. It says draw it. Draw a picture to show cloudy and windy weather. So what could you draw to show? I know for cloudy weather, you could just draw clouds, right? But how could you show that it's windy out? Parker? What did you say? What are? Okay, yeah, if you're flying a kite, good. You could have a kite up in the air. What else could you draw? Owen? Yeah, like little swirls to show that the wind is blowing, like kind of like this. Like, good. What else? Amelia? Yeah, you could draw leaves that are blowing around. Good, that's a good idea. If you draw a leaf that's kind of blowing around in the air, make it look like some leaves are blowing. Yes. Yep. Yes, go ahead. Okay, so draw a picture to show cloudy and windy weather. Yes, I'm going to let you finish your pictures. Alright, the two at the bottom, solve it, starting with number two, says write a weather word to solve. You may see me in a puddle outside. The day is gray when I fall from the sky. I am what? Oliver? Rain. Good. So you're going to put R-A-I-N. Rain. Good. And then the match it. it says match the words to the pictures. So we have rain gauge and thermometer. Which of these is the rain gauge? The top one or the bottom one? Kristen K? The bottom. Good. The bottom one. Because it's kind of got like this, almost like a spout on it so it can touch the rain. So that means the top one has to be the thermometer, right? The only other one is left. Right? Right. That is all that we have for science today. So when you are finished, you can go ahead and put your book away. We'll see you later, virtual learners. Bye.